Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Third Digital Spectrum System. And I have developed this project in Python using the machine learning and the algorithm I have used the logistic regression for developing this project. Means for training the data sets, for uh, getting input from users and check the inputs using the models, right? I have used the logistic regression for predicting that you are suffered from heart disease or not, right? Because if you are writing any type of prediction system projects, then this is a use case of machine learning. Without machine learning, you can't predict any of the things. And for predicting the things, you must have the good data sets, good amount of data to train your machine, right? So this is a machine learning project on heart disease prediction system. And I have developed this project in Python, Django, and MySQL. Django is a web framework, which uh, I have used for developing this web interface. Django, oh, sorry, MySQL is a database where I am using the, uh, which I am using for saving some of the data here, right? So this, Backend technologies I have used for developing this project for front end because this is a web platform. So, this is in web UI we have developed using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and some of the jQuery library also I have used, like for form validations, date calendar plugin integrations. I have used jQuery plugins, but I have not integrated those things here. But yeah, jQuery is already implemented in this project. So, if you want to change or use any type of jQuery component, you can directly use it and you can modify it according to your requirements, right? So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project hard business prediction system. And this is a machine learning Python MySQL based mini project, mini project because it's a very simple project where user will enter the data and after that he will check that he has heart disease or not, right? So it's a very simple project where there is a form where user will enter the data and there is an output where the system will show that you are suffered from heart disease or not, right? There is two extra pages that is about us and the contact us, right? So in that, those are the static pages, right? Let me go through the application, right? So this is the, once you run the project, then you will get this dashboard, sorry, this form here, you need to enter all of the information for checking that you have heart disease or not so it's asking for the age so i'm entering the 60 gender is male chest pain typical angina rest blood pressure i'm entering some of the value like 100 cholesterol in a man and fasting blood sugar it's a 120 uh, it's a two maximum heart rate achieved that is the 100 access uh, that is a 12 old st which i'm entering the st right and slope uh, sorry i think it will be four three and zero to three that is a three tall level this so you will ask that from where i am getting this fields right so i have used the kaggle data sets and if you check on the kaggle these fields will be included in the data set right so for predict the heart disease you must fill these fields and the system will check you are suffering from the heart disease or not so these fields you can check in the data set right so you can check the things into the data set and after that you can implement your logic here the same thing we have done here right so after entering these details once you click on the check and show result then it will show you that you are not suffered from heart disease right so what the logic run behind it right once you enter the data in the form and the system is passing the data into the machine learning model the logistic regression algorithm is running behind the system and it's checking those data on the data set what you have trained the data set i have already told you we have used the machine learning uh, algorithms and the data set we have used from the kaggle right and after that the machine means the model will rent will return the true or false type of values right if it's true then it will show you that you are predicting you are heard you are suffered from heart disease if it's false then you are not suffered from the heart disease right so this is the output. So these logics are running behind the application, right? And this is a totally machine learning type of logic. So it's saying that you are not suffered from and these uh, values you have entered, right? So this is the uh, logic and there are two extra pages I have implemented the about us means about the heart disease. If you want to change this data, then you can change directly from the HTML page, 
right and the HTML page name is about our HTML. you will get in templates folder right this is a contact us it's a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project as i told you earlier this is a very basic mini project but i have two more projects available on the hard disease prediction system the first one is the hard disease with multiple algorithms which i have used where i have used six algorithms say logistic regression nav based linear regression right so there are six algorithms i have used that is the you can search on your website hard disease with multiple algorithms that is a very much advanced project where you will be able to see the comparison of the different algorithms and their accuracy level the second project i have developed hard disease using the single algorithm that is a logistic regression but there is a provision for the admin where admin can upload the data set and he will be able to see the prediction using that data set right so means there is a provision for uh, there is a provision for uh, checking the data on those data sets right checking the data on those data sets I mean the prediction the data on those data sets right right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project hard disk prediction system and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest causes thanks for watching the video thank you very much